What's going on everybody? Nikki D here, East Coast Pimp, coming at you live yet again, and uh, today we're going to be talking about another movie, because it's all we fucking do anymore, is watch movies. Um, so we're, we watched Bumblebee, or I watched Bumblebee the other night. Um, oh, social distancing! What the fuck? They're getting close! I'm, I'm, I'm getting them charged. Um, anyway, so yeah, Bumblebee. Watched Bumblebee the other night, pretty good movie. And uh, we're obviously talking about what the hell happened. So basically, if you ever watch a Transformers film, this is a Transformers film. Um, but it, it's basically Bumblebee's the guy. He's like, he's the character, okay? He's the main character of the cast. And um, gets in a big battle in the beginning and when he can actually talk, which he does sound different, by the way. If you actually watch the first Transformers film and he, and he, and he gets his uh, vocal cords fixed, it sounds different, but I'm wondering if they just got him different vocal cords. I have no idea what's going on with that, but... Uh, yeah, I was like, all right, <laughs> I bought into it. But uh, anyway, yeah, he sounds a little different, but uh, yeah, he talks in the beginning, he gets in a battle, loses the vocal cord, uh, gets wounded, turns into a little light punch buggy, and uh, some young 17 turning 18 year old girl finds him, and they go on uh, some adventures together. Now, eventually, near the end of the movie, uh, she has to let him go, uh, which I thought was funny, but she kind of like redeems herself as a character, so she had some hurdles since her dad had died of a heart attack. Um, you know, like, and that's kind of explicitly shown through with the movie, where she's, like, throwing away old medals that reminds her of him. Um, anything that reminds her of him, she can't, like, look at it or do anything with. Uh, it includes, like, diving. So, like, if she actually goes to, like, dive in the water, and then she, she fails in the beginning, but redeems it at the end, and she feels like she's a lot better of a person now. She's like, I feel like I can do this. And, um, yeah, her and Bumblebee are very interesting together because Bumblebee clearly, like, he loses his memory to some degree. So he kind of doesn't know what's going on. And then near the end of the movie, he just turns into this fucking badass again and he's just kicking ass. Um, so it's really, it's, it, it, it's definitely a fun movie. A um, lot of comedy in it. Like, I guess that's just a thing nowadays. I don't mind watching movies, but, like, like I, I, or with comedy in them, but I, I like a movie if it's if it's gonna come off as like a little serious in the beginning. I kind of wish it stayed that way, um, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like it, it's like the newer Star Wars movies. I love that like the earlier ones they were very dark. There was no humor, and but it was serious. Like it was serious, um, but it wasn't like just jokes twenty four seven. And then it was just like yeah, it's jokes twenty four seven. So I don't know. Uh, I liked Bumblebee actually though. I, I actually very much enjoyed it. The scene um, where Bumblebee's in the house and he's just fucking wrecking shit, like because obviously he's just a gigantic robot. That was pretty funny actually. I won't lie, I, I did chuckle a few times there. Um, usually, usually that stuff doesn't get me. I'm just like, what the fuck. But I was like, no, it's, that's that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. So overall, enjoyed that. Overall, the whole movie very much enjoyed it. Um, one of those kind of like family friendly ones though. So yeah, if you're going to watch with like the wife and kids, um, you know, you're, you're, you're probably doing okay. That's probably going to be a, a safe, a safe film to put on. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's Bumblebee. Uh, dude, totally check it out though, man. Good fucking time. And, um, you know, I think the black guy at the end there, the kid, the nerd kid with the Afro, um, uh, dude, like he, I, I liked it was cliche. Like he went to hold her hand and she's like, yeah, we're not there yet. And he's just like, eh, okay. Like, dude, he got, like, he got fucking molested right there. Like, that's, that's what happened. Like, he's just trying to score. I was rooting for him the whole movie. I was like, dude, he's going to hit that. You know? It's like, okay. Um, and then at the end of the movie, there's one point I want to mention. When Bumblebee transforms, like, to the Camaro, and she's like, uh, yeah, he could have been like that the whole time there, bud. And he just drives off next to, like, the 18-wheeler, which looks like it could have been Optimus Prime. I was like, oh, that's nah, pretty cool. Um, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. You know where to find me.